cartwheels around the patio if you please. <laughs> Two orchids have bloomed for the first time on the patio. One is four, almost five years in the making, which in itself is scary because, you know, slow growers. <laughs> Can you get them even to bloom before doing something dramatic that results in them removing themselves from our collection? And the other one, surprise, it bloomed so soon, but it was scary because the buds were forming through the time period of where it was very, very cold. And I was so scared we're gonna have bud blasts, but no, we don't have bud blasts. So I'm gonna be braggadocious. <laughs> A Paphiopedalum, but not just a Paphiopedalum. This is Paphiopedalum delinatii. Check this out. Isn't she cute? Oh, I know, we have a reflection with a little bit of background light back there. You know, the odd and occasional sunshine in southern Spain would have it such that we're getting a bit of washed out colors. But, cartwheels around the patio, as I said, because this orchid came to me as a teeny tiny little seedling when I started my collection before I had my channel. And it was not exactly an experiment, but it was not a guarantee that it would even make it in my setup of Lekka and self-watering. Here we are, drum roll, fast forward 2023. I didn't break the spike, the bud didn't blast, and all that precarious stuff that could interfere with a successful first time bloomer. <laughs> I'm so happy, she is so cute. Tried to take some pictures of her to document the blooms. And well, I just love the charming proportions. I can see why people are so taken by this orchid and many, many have it in their collection. So yeah, welcoming Paphiopedalum delinati as blooming size in the collection of ninja orchids. I'm so happy I could share this with you. Success story numero uno. Meanwhile, I do not have a fragrance on her. Don't want to push my luck, but she's blooming. I have heard that Delinatii can be fragrant. However, I cannot speak to that at this point in time. Anyway, <laughs> moving on swiftly to success numero deux. Ancelia Africana Buffalo crossed with Leo. Welcome to this beautiful, gorgeous orchid that I bought in July of 2021 from an order with Afri orchids. The growth that you see blooming at this point in time was grown in 2022. Never expected this to bloom so soon. So, so happy. Yes, you may think, oh, well, what are we doing here? We're only seeing one bloom. Well, as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> temperatures are now warming up. Terrace door opens and closes. So worried about bud blast that I was fearful I wouldn't be able to show you anything. And I thought, let's just get this out of the way. She is blooming. And this way I can avoid explaining myself afterwards as to, yeah, well, I had a bloom. I didn't document it, didn't show you, but here's a pic. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, we've got a bloom. We've got two more in the back and you can see she's opening a little bit wacky because I've been trying to protect her from too much movement. So the blooms aren't opening evenly, but they are open. And you know what? Her fragrance is sweeter dust as opposed to the other Ancelia Africana. That reminds me of the dusty fragrance of going on a safari and the sand and everything wafts into the windows of your van. That is the dust of my other Ancelia Africana. This one has a dusty smell, but it is a sweeter one. It is more pleasant. Meanwhile, I don't mind the other one either because it reminds me of safaris, <laughs> but this has a hint of sweetness. It's nice. I love it. So we've got two, three blooms open, even though one is not facing towards us, but we've got another one opening. I'm not seeing any signs of bud blast just yet, and we have this one spike that is branching. Amazing, this is a branch. I thought this one was gonna go for sure. Never expected it to develop. Isn't that cool though? So we've got four here to anticipate. Hopefully they don't blast. And then we have another eight up here. My aunt's trying to get to them, no way. Eight up here that are hopefully going to open as well. My other Ancelia Africana blooms, well, she bloomed for six, seven weeks without any issues, 
but we're not done there yet. Look, the other growth. Let me scooch her over. Let me get you down. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, of course. Dong. There we go. The other growth is also pushing a spike. My goodness, you guys, when I saw this happen, I was like, no way. This can't be true. So happy. Buffalo was our mascot at my high school. We were the buffs. So I had to have this orchid, of course. Just to remind me a little bit of where I went to school. Go buffs. <laughs> and Leo is my son's horoscope. So when I saw this in the catalog, I'm like, look, I can't afford to be doing this, but there are times where you just bite the bullet and go for it. And I have no regrets whatsoever. She is a little bit darker in her blotches than my other Ancelia Africana. But oh my goodness, now that the sun has come out a little bit, you can see that she glows. Love, love, love. So, so happy. And there you have them. The dainty, the cute, the feminine, the amazing, the beauty, the symmetry. Compared to the wild, wonderful, rough and tough Ancelia Africana. Total different <laughs> characteristics going on here. But hey, isn't that what the orchid hobby is all about? Oh my goodness, it's still orchids. So happy. If you join me for this video, thank you so very, very much. I am glad I got this footage documented in case something goes wrong. Then I would have kicked myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. So, so happy, so cute, and so beastly wild and gorgeous. Yum, amazing. <laughs>